Okay, so the, another thing that I want to talk to you about is the longer poles that are popular out in crappie fishing today. And there's a real use for these poles. Um, I have some friends that just won't use them. Um, but if you learn to use this longer pole, I guarantee that you will, you will be more successful with it. One thing that it's going to do is it's going to allow you, when you're sitting in the boat, to move your bait without moving the boat. And so if you want to swing this pole around this way, look at the range of motion that you have to pick your lure up and drop it in different areas. And so that's one of the things that is very popular about it. It doesn't matter whether you have a jig on it or whether you have a live bait rig on it, but if you zoom in here, I want to show you um, what uh, a lot of people are using uh, to catch crappie. And this is a really good application down on the dock uh, for you. But I personally like a colored hook. Some people don't like that. Um, but I also like to lip hook minnows. I don't like to hook them in the back. If I'm swimming a minnow uh, through some structure, uh, through the magic structure, then I will go ahead and I'll hook it in the lips. If I really want that, if I really know where the fish are schooled, I will go, just go ahead and tail hook that minnow uh, right behind the dorsal fin. And when I tail hook that minnow, then it's struggling. Now, another thing that you can do um, is to hook it below in the anal fin, and then that minnow tries to swim up away from that hook. And that's a real way to trigger crappies into an aggressive mode. And so how you hook the minnow can be very critical. And so, but basically in this rig, I want to give about 16 inches of line before the weight. Now, don't worry so much about the size of this weight. You're actually going to enjoy fishing this if it has a little bit uh, heavier weight on it because it's going to go straight down. And as the boat drifts uh, and as you, as you move around, this thing is going to stay more straight down. So here I've got a stop weight, a slip bobber, where I have this adjustable knot. And so if I'm fishing in even 20 feet of water, I can slide that knot up. And then when I go to reel the fish in, all of this comes down here. And then the depth is stays set with this knot. And so that's called a slip knot rig. Now, one thing that I like about this, I picked these up when I was ice fishing in Canada uh, this last winter. And the great thing about this is, is that this is a detachable design on a bobber. And so if your buddy is over there fishing without a bobber and he's just handing it to you and the crappies are flying over the side, that's how easy it is to go to his rig or her rig. And then if you want to just let that minnow just sit there right in the crappie's face because you know that they're down there, then this, you can just clip this back on. So I really like this type of bobber. Uh, because of the fact that it, it slips off and on. So anyway, some ideas for you uh, in doing that. Summertime, usually, you're going to want you to get that minnow. If you're fishing magic structure off the dock and you've got your magic structure down, uh, uh, maybe down five feet, you're going to want to go ahead and go down to about eight feet. And if you'll just set your minnow there, either on a bobber or just hold it on the light rod, uh, and just let those crappies come on up to you. Remember that they move slow and uh, that minnow wiggling down there is a real trigger. Just remember that they move slow and it's got to sit there for a little while before that crappie will move up and finally take that minnow. So, and then of course there are other times when they attack it like a bass. So, but hang in there, have some fun. Those are the best rigs I know.